Welcome back to our Introduction to Control Theory series. In this session, we'll delve even deeper into the captivating world of control systems, building upon the foundational knowledge from our previous lecture. Throughout this video, we'll shift our focus to the essential concepts of open loop and closed loop control, unraveling the key distinctions, advantages, and real world applications of each approach. As we journey through this exploration, you'll gain invaluable insights into the intricacies of these control systems and how they shape the technologies that surround us. By the end of this lecture, you'll not only understand the mechanisms of open loop and closed loop control, but you'll also appreciate how these principles are woven into the fabric of our modern world. Whether you're a student eager to expand your engineering prowess, a professional seeking to enhance your problem-solving toolkit, or simply someone intrigued by the inner workings of control systems, this lecture promises to be a fulfilling experience. So buckle up as we embark on this illuminating voyage into the heart of control theory. As we delve into the realm of open-loop control, we'll explore the elegance of predetermined sequences and the art of consistency. From there, we'll transition seamlessly to closed-loop control, where real-time feedback takes center stage, enabling systems to adapt, correct, and thrive amidst the dynamic environment. As we delve into these concepts, keep in mind that control theory is more than just a theoretical discipline. It's the driving force behind technological innovations that shape industries, economies, and societies. So prepare to be inspired, engaged, and enlightened as we navigate the intricacies of control theory together. Stay engaged with our journey. With each lecture, you're not just learning, you're equipping yourself with the tools to steer the future of technology. Let's explore the magic of control systems and pave a way for a future where mastery knows no bounds. Our journey begins with a deep exploration of open-loop control systems. These systems operate based on predetermined sequences of actions, functioning without the feedback loop commonly found in closed-loop systems. Imagine setting an automatic coffee maker to brew for a fixed duration. It follows a predefined schedule, regardless of the actual taste of the coffee. This simplicity and efficiency makes open-loop control systems valuable in scenarios where a fixed sequence of actions produces a consistent result. Open-loop control systems constitute the fundamental building blocks of control theory, embodying a straightforward and essential concept in the realm of engineering and automation. In an open-loop control system, the control action is executed based on a predetermined set of instructions or commands, without any real-time feedback mechanism to adjust or correct the output. This one-way flow of information characterizes the open-loop approach where the system's output is driven solely by the input command, irrespective of the actual system performance. Consider again the analogy of an automated coffee maker. When you set the coffee maker to brew a specific amount of coffee with a certain strength, it follows a fixed sequence of steps, such as heating the water to a particular temperature, allowing it to drip through the coffee grounds, and stopping the process after a set time. This process doesn't involve monitoring the actual taste or quality of the coffee. It relies on a predefined recipe. Open-loop control systems excel in scenarios where the sequence of actions is well-defined and the desired output can be achieved without requiring continuous adjustments. The simplicity and efficiency of open-loop control systems are their key strengths. They're often used in applications where precision isn't paramount and deviations from the desired outcome can be tolerated within certain limits. Classic examples of open-loop control systems include traffic signals, where predefined timing patterns regulate the flow of traffic without accounting for the actual congestion on the roads, and household appliances like microwave ovens that operate for a set duration without considering the actual temperature of the food being heated, which is why it's always cold in the center. However, open-loop control systems also exhibit significant limitations, 
particularly when faced with uncertainties, disturbances, or variations in the system. Since these systems lack feedback mechanisms to account for changing conditions, they are inherently less adaptable to unexpected situations. For instance, an open-loop control assembly line might experience disruptions when there's a slight variation in the size of the products being manufactured. This is where closed-loop control systems with their real-time feedback loops come into play. Open-loop control systems are characterized by their simplicity, efficiency, and reliance on predetermined sequences. They find applications in situations where the desired output can be achieved without continuous adjustments. Nonetheless, they are less robust in dealing with uncertainties and external disturbances compared to closed-loop systems, which leverage feedback to adapt and maintain desired outcomes despite changing conditions. As we delve into open-loop control, it's crucial to understand its advantages and limitations. Open-loop control excels in situations where the process is well-defined and the sequence of actions remains constant. Consider the programming instructions for a washing machine. You set the cycle, it follows the steps reliably. This predictability and repeatability are especially beneficial in scenarios where exact outcomes are desired. However, open loop control systems lack the ability to adapt to changing conditions. They operate based on preset instructions and are blind to external factors. For instance, in a cooking scenario, if you set the timer for baking a cake without considering variations in oven temperature, the outcome might not match the expectations. Additionally, open-loop systems cannot account for uncertainties or disturbances that might actually affect the desired outcome. Open-loop control systems offer several distinct advantages that make them suitable for specific applications. Let's dive into these advantages to better understand when and why open-loop control is employed. Open-loop control systems are inherently simpler in design and implementation compared to their closed-loop counterparts. Since they operate based on predetermined sequences of actions without requiring continuous feedback, their architecture is less complex. This simplicity not only facilitates quicker development, but also leads to more efficient system operation. The absence of real-time feedback mechanisms results in faster response times, making open-loop systems ideal for tasks where immediate actions based on predefined sequences are sufficient. The straightforward design and reduced hardware requirements of open-loop control systems contribute to cost savings. As they don't rely on expensive sensors or continuous feedback mechanisms, the initial setup and ongoing maintenance are often more budget-friendly. This cost-effectiveness makes open-loop systems attractive for applications where precision can be sacrificed for economic considerations. Open-loop control systems exhibit predictable behavior since they strictly adhere to predefined sequences of action. This predictability can be advantageous in scenarios where consistent outcomes are more critical than adaptability. Industries such as manufacturing and automated production lines rely on open-loop systems to ensure that their repetitive tasks are performed reliably and uniformly. Open-loop control systems typically require fewer sensors and sensing devices compared to closed-loop systems. Since they don't rely on real-time feedback to adjust actions, the need for expensive and accurate sensors is reduced. This reduction in sensor requirement contributes to further cost savings and simplifies the overall system setup. Due to the absence of real-time feedback loops, open-loop control systems can exhibit lower latency or delay in their response times. This responsiveness can be advantageous in situations where immediate execution of actions based on predefined sequences is crucial. Applications like robotics and manufacturing, where precise timing is essential, can benefit from open-loop controls reduced latency. Open-loop control systems excel in scenarios where simplicity, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness are paramount. Their straightforward design, predictable behavior, and minimal sensor requirements make them suitable for tasks where precision can be 
traded for faster response times and reduced complexity. However, it's important to acknowledge that these advantages come with limitations, particularly in dealing with uncertainties, variations, and changes in the system or environment. While open-loop control systems offer simplicity and efficiency, they also come with several disadvantages that can limit their effectiveness in certain scenarios. Let's explore these drawbacks to gain a comprehensive understanding of the limitations of open-loop control. One of the significant limitations of open-loop control is its vulnerability to variations in the system's environment and conditions. Even minor changes in factors, such as temperature, load, or external disturbances, can lead to deviations from the desired outcome. The lack of continuous feedback mechanisms makes open-loop control systems less capable of adapting to variations, potentially resulting in errors or suboptimal performance. Open-loop control systems lack the ability to adjust their actions based on real-time feedback. This limits their adaptability to changing conditions or unexpected events. In dynamic environments where uncertainties are prevalent, open-loop control may struggle to maintain desired outcomes as they cannot modify their actions to respond to evolving situations. If an open-loop control system deviates from the desired output, it lacks a mechanism to correct those errors on its own. This can lead to accumulated errors over time, potentially resulting in degraded performance or even system breakdown. Unlike closed-loop systems that can continuously adjust based on feedback, open-loop control systems cannot course-correct in response to unexpected deviations. Open-loop control systems are inherently inflexible since they rely on fixed sequences of actions. This lack of flexibility makes them unsuitable for tasks that require dynamic adjustments, responsiveness to user inputs, or adaptation to evolving conditions. Open-loop systems cannot account for changes that were not anticipated during the system's design. The effectiveness of open-loop control systems relies heavily on having accurate models of the system's behavior and environment. Any discrepancies between the actual system and the assumed model can lead to suboptimal results. Open-loop systems are highly sensitive to changes or inaccuracies in the initial model, which can degrade their performance. While open-loop control systems offer simplicity and efficiency, their vulnerability to variability, limited adaptability, inability to correct errors, lack of flexibility, and dependence on accurate models can pose challenges in applications where precise adjustments, adaptability, and robustness are crucial. It's essential to carefully consider the specific requirements of an application and evaluate whether open-loop control's advantages outweigh its limitations. Moving forward, we transition to closed-loop systems, where feedback takes center stage. These systems incorporate real-time information to make adjustments and maintain the desired outcome despite changing conditions. Think of a thermostat regulating the temperature in your home. As the temperature deviates from the set point, the thermostat adjusts the heating or cooling to bring it back to the desired level. In this section, we delve into the realm of closed-loop control systems, the fundamental concept in control theory that plays a pivotal role in achieving precision, adaptability, and sustainability in a wide range of applications. Closed-loop control systems, also known as feedback control systems, introduce an essential element that sets them apart from their open-loop counterparts, the incorporation of real-time feedback. In these systems, a continuous loop is established between the output of the system and its input. This feedback loop allows a system to constantly monitor its performance, compare it to a desired reference value, and make adjustments as needed to ensure the output aligns with the desired outcome. This dynamic process mirrors natural phenomena where feedback mechanisms maintain equilibrium and stability. Consider the human body's temperature regulation. Sensors throughout the body constantly measure its temperature and compare it to the set point, such as 98.6 Fahrenheit 
or 37 degrees Celsius. If the actual temperature deviates from this set point, the body initiates responses like shivering or sweating to restore the desired temperature. This intricate feedback loop enables the body to adapt to changing conditions and maintain a constant internal environment. In the realm of engineering, closed-loop control systems achieve similar outcomes. By using sensors to collect data about the system's performance, these systems can detect deviations from the desired state and take corrective actions to restore equilibrium. This ability to adapt to changes in the environment, account for uncertainties, and continuously optimize performance underlies the effectiveness of closed-loop control in various domains. As we explore closed-loop control further, we'll uncover its applications in diverse fields, such as automation, robotics, aerospace, and more. By understanding how feedback mechanisms drive real-time adjustments and shape outcomes, you'll gain insights into the power of closed-loop control to address the challenges posed by dynamic and unpredictable environments. In contrast to open-loop control, closed-loop systems offer distinct advantages. They possess the ability to adapt and respond to changing conditions, making them suitable for dynamic environments. Closed-loop systems excel in scenarios where accuracy and precision are essential, such as guiding spacecraft or maintaining stable medical conditions. The integration of feedback allows closed-loop systems to self-correct, ensuring that desired outcomes are consistently achieved. Closed-loop control systems offer a host of advantages that stem from their ability to incorporate real-time feedback and adjust actions based on current conditions. Let's explore these advantages, which make closed-loop control a powerful approach in various applications. One of the primary strengths of closed-loop control is its adaptability. By continuously monitoring the system's performance through sensors and feedback mechanisms, closed-loop systems can dynamically adjust their actions in response to changing conditions. This adaptability allows these systems to maintain desired outcomes even when faced with uncertainties, variations, or unexpected disturbances. Closed-loop control systems excel in achieving precision and accuracy. The constant feedback loop ensures that the system's output closely matches the desired reference value. This level of precision is especially valuable in applications where small errors can have significant consequences, such as medical equipment, precision manufacturing, and scientific instrumentation. Closed-loop systems inherently offer stability due to their ability to self-correct deviations from the desired state. If the system's output drifts from the reference value, the feedback loop intervenes to restore equilibrium. This stability is vital in applications where maintaining consistent and safe operation is crucial, such as aircraft control systems and power grid management. Closed-loop control systems demonstrate robustness in the face of disturbances and uncertainties. The real-time adjustments based on feedback allow these systems to counteract disturbances and continue operating effectively. This robustness makes closed-loop control well-suited for applications where external factors can impact the system's performance, such as weather changes or variations in raw materials. Closed-loop systems have the capability to dynamically optimize their performance over time. By continuously evaluating the system's output and making incremental adjustments, these systems can adapt to changing conditions and achieve optimal outcomes. This optimization is valuable in scenarios where performance requirements evolve and where the system operates within varying constraints. Closed-loop control systems can cope with variations in the system itself or the environment. As conditions change, the feedback loop ensures that the system's actions are adjusted to compensate for these variations. This versatility is essential in domains like healthcare where patients' conditions can vary, or in industrial processes where raw material quality can fluctuate. Closed-loop control systems offer a suite of advantages that stem from their real-time feedback mechanisms. 
Their adaptability, precision, stability, robustness, optimization capabilities, and ability to cope with variations make them highly effective in scenarios where accuracy, responsiveness, and reliability are paramount. Understanding these advantages allows engineers and practitioners to harness the full potential of closed-loop control to achieve superior performance and outcome. While closed-loop control systems offer a multitude of advantages, they also come with several disadvantages that should be carefully considered when designing or implementing such systems. Let's explore these drawbacks to gain a comprehensive understanding of the limitations of closed-loop control. Closed-loop control systems tend to be more complex in design and implementation compared to open-loop systems. The inclusion of sensors, feedback mechanisms, controllers, and algorithms increases the overall complexity of the system. This complexity can lead to challenges in system integration, tuning, and maintenance, requiring a higher level of expertise and resources. The effectiveness of closed-loop control heavily relies on accurate and reliable sensors to provide real-time data. The quality, calibration, and reliability of these sensors are critical to the system's performance. Sensor failures or inaccuracies can lead to incorrect feedback, causing the system to make inappropriate adjustments and potentially compromising safety or accuracy. Closed-loop control systems require careful tuning of control parameters to ensure stability, optimal performance, and responsiveness. Incorrect tuning parameters can lead to instability, oscillations, or sluggish responses, impacting the system's effectiveness. Tuning closed-loop systems can be time-consuming and may require iterative adjustments. The integration of feedback mechanisms introduces the risk of feedback loop instability. Poorly designed control loop systems can result in oscillations where the system continuously overcorrects itself, leading to erratic behavior. Ensuring proper design, tuning, and stability analysis are crucial to prevent feedback loop instability. Closed-loop control systems often come with higher costs compared to open-loop systems. The requirement for accurate sensors, controllers, and quality components can increase the initial investment and ongoing maintenance expenses. This cost factor may impact the feasibility of implementing closed-loop systems in certain applications. Closed-loop systems rely heavily on continuous feedback to operate effectively. In cases where the feedback loop is disrupted due to sensor failures or communication issues, the system's performance may degrade or even come to a halt. Redundancy measures and backup systems may be needed to mitigate this risk. While closed-loop control systems offer advantages such as adaptability, precision, and robustness, their complexity, sensor requirements, tuning challenges, potential for instability, cost considerations, and dependence on continuous feedback are factors that need to be carefully managed. Proper design, sensor selection, tuning, and robustness analysis are crucial to harnessing the benefits of closed-loop control while mitigating its disadvantages. To further cement your comprehension, we'll now pivot to real-world applications, offering tangible glimpses of open-loop and closed-loop control systems in action. Witness how closed-loop control enables autonomous vehicles to navigate complex road scenarios seamlessly, prioritizing safety and efficiency. Explore how open-loop control guides the precise motions of industrial robots, streamlining intricate manufacturing processes. These concrete instances showcase the synergy of both approaches, deepening your understanding of when and how to leverage them. In this section, we'll delve into the real-world scenarios where open-loop control systems are applied. These examples highlight how open-loop control operates based on predetermined sequences and demonstrates its advantages and limitations in various contexts. Open-loop control finds a common application in regulating traffic signals at intersections. Traffic lights follow fixed timing patterns to control the flow of vehicles. 
While this approach provides a simple and efficient way to manage traffic, it lacks real-time adaptation to changing conditions. For instance, during rush hours or unexpected traffic surges, like when a concert or sporting event gets out, traffic lights may not officially allocate green light time to alleviate congestion. Open loop control excels in scenarios where traffic patterns are predictable, but it struggles to respond effectively to fluctuations and variations in traffic volume. Household appliances like microwave ovens, washing machines, and dishwashers employ open loop control to execute specific tasks. For instance, when you set a microwave oven to heat food for a particular time, the microwave follows the predetermined sequence of actions. However, it doesn't consider the actual temperature of the food. This can lead to overcooked or uneven heating if the food's internal temperature varies. While open loop control simplifies these tasks and allows for efficient operation, it lacks the ability to account for variations in starting conditions. In manufacturing, automated assembly lines often use open loop control to perform repetitive tasks. These systems follow predefined sequences to assemble products. For example, an assembly robot may follow a fixed set of movements to place components together. While open loop control streamlines production processes and ensures consistency, it relies on the assumption that all components are of uniform size and quality. Any minor variation in component size can lead to misalignments or defects in the final product. In these examples, open loop control systems demonstrate their simplicity, efficiency, and applicability in scenarios where tasks follow known sequences and where small deviations from the desired outcome are acceptable. However, it's important to recognize that open loop systems are less adaptable to uncertainties and variations in the environment, which can lead to suboptimal results in situations where precise adjustments are necessary. To deepen your understanding, let's explore real-world examples of closed-loop control. Imagine an autopilot system guiding an aircraft through turbulent weather. The system continuously receives feedback from sensors, adjusting the aircraft's control to maintain stability and safety. Similarly, the control of blood sugar levels in diabetic patients relies on closed-loop systems that continuously monitor glucose levels and deliver insulin as needed. These examples showcase how closed-loop control is an indispensable tool for achieving precise and adaptive outcomes. In this section, we'll explore real-world instances where closed-loop control systems demonstrate their effectiveness by utilizing continuous feedback mechanisms to achieve precise outcomes. One of the most compelling applications of closed-loop control is evident in autonomous vehicles. These vehicles rely on an intricate network of sensors, camera, LIDAR, radar, and GPS to constantly monitor their surroundings. By integrating this real-time data into a feedback loop, autonomous vehicles can adjust their speed, direction, and braking in response to changing road conditions, traffic patterns, and unexpected obstacles. The closed-loop control system ensures that the vehicle navigates safely and efficiently through complex scenarios, demonstrating adaptability and reliability even in the face of uncertainty. Buildings equipped with climate control systems exemplify the effectiveness of closed-loop control in maintaining desired environmental conditions. A thermostat, acting as a sensor, measures the current indoor temperature and compares it to a predefined set point. If the actual temperature deviates from the set point, the closed-loop control system activates heating or cooling mechanisms to restore the desired temperature. This continuous feedback loop ensures precise temperature regulation, providing comfort while minimizing energy consumption by adapting the system's operation based on real-time conditions. Closed-loop control is pivotal in the precise movement of robotic arms used in manufacturing processes. Imagine a robotic arm assembling intricate components. 
By integrating force sensors and vision systems, the arm can detect even the slightest deviation from the desired path. The closed loop control system uses this feedback to adjust its movements in real time, ensuring precise alignment and preventing errors in the assembly process. This level of accuracy highlights the power of closed loop control in achieving meticulous results. In these examples, closed loop control systems showcase their adaptability, precision, stability, and robustness. By continuously monitoring the environment and adjusting actions based on real-time feedback, closed-loop systems demonstrate their effectiveness in maintaining desired outcomes despite uncertainties and variations. This ability to respond dynamically to changing conditions makes closed-loop control particularly valuable in applications where accuracy, safety, and optimization are paramount. As we bring this enlightening journey into the world of control systems to a close, you've gained a comprehensive understanding of the nuances, advantages, disadvantages, and real-world applications of both open-loop and control-loop control systems. This knowledge equips you to navigate the intricate landscape of control theory and empowers you to engineer solutions that optimize performance, enhance reliability, and drive innovation across a wide range of fields. By grasping the foundational concepts of open-loop control, you've learned how systems can effectively follow predefined sequences of actions. These systems find their place in scenarios where precision can be sacrificed for simplicity and where known sequences can lead to desired outcomes. However, you're also aware of the limitations of open-loop control such as vulnerability to disturbances and an inability to adapt to changing conditions. On the other hand, your exploration of closed-loop control has revealed the power of feedback mechanisms in achieving adaptability, precision, stability, and robustness. You understand how these systems use real-time information to adjust their actions, ensuring the desired outcomes are maintained, even in dynamic and uncertain environments. Despite the complexities and challenges associated with closed-loop control, you recognize the essential role in applications where accuracy and responsiveness are paramount. As you move forward, armed with this knowledge, you're well prepared to make informed decisions when designing and implementing control systems. Whether you're working on developing advanced robotics, enhancing automation in manufacturing, optimizing energy consumption, or revolutionizing transportation with autonomous vehicles, your grasp of control theory will be the guiding light that leads you to innovative solutions. Remember that the synergy between open-loop and closed-loop control is crucial. The art lies in selecting the appropriate control system based on the requirements of the task at hand. Mastery of control systems enables you to strike that balance effectively, maximizing the benefits of each approach while minimizing their respective limitations. Your journey into control theory doesn't end here. As technology advances and new challenges emerge, your understanding will continue to evolve. Stay curious, keep learning, and remain open to the endless possibilities that control theory offers. Continue to explore the depths of this fascinating field, for in doing so, you contribute to a world where intelligent systems seamlessly interact with their surroundings, improving efficiency, safety, and quality of life. Thank you for joining us on this illuminating voyage into the heart of control systems. I look forward to witnessing the impact you'll make as you apply these principles to shape the future of technology and innovation. The mastery of control theory is a gateway to engineering solutions that optimize performance, enhance reliability, and drive innovation. As you delve deeper into this field, you'll find yourself equipped with the ability to design control systems that navigate complex scenarios with grace. Whether it's crafting flight control systems of modern aircraft, or developing advanced robotics for manufacturing, or developing drones to blow up the Kerch Strait Bridge, control theory provides the foundation for technological progress. 
By understanding both open loop and closed loop control systems, you gain the insights to make informed decisions about which approach best suits the specific challenges you encounter. As we progress through this course, you'll further refine your skills, enabling you to contribute to fields ranging from automation and robotics to healthcare and aerospace. So continue to join us on this enlightening journey into the world of control systems, where the principles you learn have the potential to shape the future. Stay tuned for upcoming lectures, where we'll explore more aspects of control theory, from system modeling to stability analysis and beyond. Together, we'll unlock the full spectrum of control possibilities, empowering you to transform theoretical knowledge into real-world innovations. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. This is the point at which others tell you, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content just like this. But we know that kind of thing is for losers. Don't be a loser. And as always, I welcome your feedback and ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing your inner nude, dude.